I've just woken up. It's Wednesday. And oh my God, the weather is grim. Oh, look. Oh. I have got work. I'm in Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. So, I mean, if the weather's like this when I'm at work, that's fine. I just hope the weather's nice when I'm actually off. <laughs> God, I look tired. I really struggled getting out of bed this morning. I didn't get out until like quarter two, quarter to eight, and it's currently 8.13, so that was a mad rush. I like the sound of the rain. So I'm just gonna drive to work. I mean, nine till eight today, tomorrow, and Friday, so. I am actually only in three days this week, which is like obviously less than what most people do, but I do like longer days, but less days. So I do like full-time hours still, but yeah, I'm hoping the weather's gonna be better than this on Saturday, because Ash suggested going somewhere. Don't know where, we haven't yet decided, and knowing Ash, we probably won't end up going. <laughs> But I'm hoping that the weather is better than this because there's nothing worse than it being crap weather when you're off. Although, there is something cosy about when you know you haven't got to go anywhere or do anything. The simplicity of like just staying in your PJs or your comfy clothes and um, like sticking the movie on, having it nice and like cosy with mood lighting in the house and stuff and like not having to worry about getting up or going anywhere. But if the weather's nice, I'll certainly want to get up and go somewhere. So yeah, I'm going to drive to work now. And obviously we'll be filming over the weekend as well for you. So I hope you enjoy this video. Just got into work. I'm the first one here. Oh wait, Jade, our receptionist is just pulling up. Jade is our receptionist at work. But she also does obviously the eyelashes and eyebrows on the side. Um, which is probably more her full-time job now. But she's just pulled up. But yeah, I'm the first one here. I'm in till 8 o'clock, I've got a busy day, I'll catch up with you when I can. I'm currently just watching um, Jodie's video, so Jodie May. Um, obviously when I did her hair she didn't film, but she has filmed a little snippet of her booking the appointment. So I thought I'd show you a little bit. Hello, I was wondering if I could book um, a haircut for next week please. Um, honestly, any. I was. I had a haircut with Lily last time. I can't remember what day she works though. Um, could we do Wednesday, please? In the morning. Yeah. That's okay. And what was that? Sorry, what you were Um, Jodie. Jodie May. Just put my hair in, guys. I've got like. I think they were like on my ear. Like they've grown. So long work they just can't be styled at this point like it looks like just an actual just piece of your hair it's so long so i'm so excited um i've gone back so i always go to francesco's and i've gone back to lily who i went to last time and she was really good really nice so i'm excited to have those done and catch up with her well i've always been there actually francesco's in Hannah, but i started going to a girl called lily which i kind of know and I really like she cut my hair so well and she was so lovely last time so I specifically asked for her again this time because I was like I feel like it's nice to keep going back to the same person just so they like they they sort of end up knowing what you want with your hair like what you like and things and I feel like it's much nicer doing it that way than like every time you go to have someone else but I'm so excited to have this hair because it feels quite dry to be honest like it has not really been looked after in the renovations <laughs> New hair, who is she? Oh my god, there's nothing better than a fresh cotton blow dry. Like, I feel like I want to start treating myself to more. Like, even obviously, I don't need my hair cutting all the time, but even just like coming to the salon for like a wash and blow dry because they just do your hair so much nicer than you. Like, Lily, if you're watching, you really know. 
it looks so cute i'll show you properly when right but i just got to put these waves through it and we had the bangs cut more like cheek length um, and i think they look really nice i love it i feel like there's just nothing better than fresh hair honestly fresh hair look also the lululemon set with the fresh hair is giving me confidence no i feel so much lighter i had like an inch off the length still obviously pretty long we just have like a long layer put through it um, and obviously the bangs but you just feel so i don't know there's something about having your hair done by someone else like a professional who actually knows what she's doing and not me at home it feels brilliant so that snippet that i've just filmed was from when i cut her hair last so she's actually in australia now um i hope she's having the best time but i thought i'd just show you that little snippet So I'm just getting ready to go and meet Lucy. I'm just watching some Big Fat Jenna. Absolutely love her. She's brilliant. She's so funny. But I thought I'd just talk a little bit about that hair mask that I used in the um, shower. Obviously, I'm a hairdresser. And if you have blonde hair, a lot of people suggest for you to use a silver shampoo. I try and say not to use a silver shampoo. It's good to get a little bit of brassiness out. But... It is quite dry in a silver shampoo so i always say to all my clients to use that hair mask which is the weller color fresh mask there's a pearl one and a lilac one now don't be alarmed by lilac because your hair won't come out lilac but it does just deposit the most lovely like ashy finish without drying your hair out obviously it's a hair mask so it's like nourishing and nice for your hair but i thought i'd just talk a little bit about that for anyone that's looking for something that's going to help neutralize their blonde so i'm going to do a little bit of makeup and do my hair i look a tramp i always just think i look well the weather's not very nice today it's very like dark and misty it's like that like whitey sky like it's bright but it's not the nicest of weather i'm using if anyone's wondering on my lips it is um jade actually got me this it's backstreet love lip liner and i just fill my lips in and then i just use either um the nyx butter gloss well actually no i think i'm going to use the nyx butter gloss today haven't put it on yet because it wears it off really quickly but that's what i'm going to use just about to do my hair <laughs> do 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 I think I might do something a little bit different with my hair. I don't know whether to straighten it instead of curl it. I mean, this is what it's like once I've just blow dried it. So it's a bit, it's straight, but it's a bit like flicky, I guess. It's like not here or there. So I don't know, maybe instead of waving it, like curl wave it. Maybe I should do like the Molly May like beach wave. That lasts quite well in my hair. This is how I section my hair off at home. I do have section clips. But I just find this gets the hair out the way. It's quick and easy. Just filmed a whole segment, but I filmed it in time lapse. That's great. Why is that open? Shut so i thought i'd talk you through my outfit so my t-shirt is fred perry this is actually from the kids section a couple of years ago but it's fine so like this blue fred perry with some jeans and my couture hoodie that ash got me for christmas and then i think i might wear either gray sambas or gray crocs i don't know yet i'm still deciding but this is the outfit so yeah i don't know what shoes yet i think i might wear my gray um my grey, what did I say? Not Sambas, I think they're Spurzy Owls, so yeah. And then this is the makeup. I'm not brushing my hair out yet. I'm gonna try and let it sit for a little bit because I find that my hair's starting to drop recently a lot. So I'm gonna leave it like this, not drop it out. And then makeup and um, yeah, I'm gonna head and meet Lucy now. The choice is, I'm not gonna pronounce that, um, which is, Dolce & Gabbana, which I think Ash got me for my birthday just gone. Uh, it smells like watermelon. It's really nice. Really fruity. Oh my God, it's cold. It's cold. Uh, I wasn't going to plan on wearing a hoodie, but I'm so glad I did, especially because the weather's a bit like minging. But so, yeah, meeting Lucy, we're going somewhere called Pillerton. 
Hillerton Hall Farm, which I actually saw on, oh, I've got to fill up. Have I? Can I make it and then fill up after? No, I've got to go fill up. I'll go fill up. So I've got to go fill up first. And then I'm going to head to Pillerton, which I'm hoping the weather picks up. It looks blue skies over there, but it's like grey over there. So I don't know what I'm going to have from Pillerton. It's like a little tea room, but apparently they don't actually do afternoon tea, which is like, okay. But <laughs> uh, I think I might just have maybe a coffee and a cake. I'm not overly hungry. It's currently 10.36. So good morning, guys. We got to say that. It's currently 10.36. So... I don't know the quickest way to get that. Yeah, I'm gonna go fill up and then um, I'll put it in on my sat nav and see kind of thing. I do know how to get there, but I just don't know the quickest way. So if I find out what the quickest way is first. Oh my God, there's a brick in the road. I mean, it's a good job I put the sat nav in because I've just gone and filled up and the sat nav's taken me a completely different way to the way that I would have gone, like completely different, which the quickest way is saying that I'm supposed to arrive at six minutes past 11. I'm not meeting her until half 11. So I've kind of gonna be a bit too early, but that's fine. I'd rather be early. Um, yeah, just pull out, that's fine. Why, whenever me and Ash, or just me, or whoever's in the car when we're filming, we always seem to have people in our area just do something dirty to us when we're driving. Like, just wanted to say a massive thank you to all the support on the videos recently. Obviously, we're really like trying to venture out and do different things on the YouTube. Like I'm doing a bit more solo vlogs like this. I'm gonna start doing TikTok. So if you haven't already, go and follow our TikTok. It'll be here. We are trying to obviously gauge new audiences. We are solely kind of home count related, but while we're not necessarily got a load of money and we're doing thing, more things in our social life, like we want to go on holiday this year, we've not got bags of money to be doing stuff around the house all the time. I mean, we are just normal people. We earn a normal wage. So although we are like, based around owning a new build taylor wimpy new new build and you know stuff that we do in our house and that we also just like documenting our life and i hope you enjoy that too you know just seeing what we get up to where we go blah 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 so we do really hope you enjoy like the avenues that we're going down obviously i've wanted to do youtube since i was probably about 13 14 so like 10 years and i've only finally just got the confidence to do it if it's kind of annoying because if i'd done it back then probably would have you know had a lot more growth but it's not about that we're doing it because we enjoy it and i obviously all the youtubers that i watch like big fat jenna bethan and joe emily bull and sham mooney are my, my go-to i like zoe sorg uh, i like you know the hollands port family like all of them are more like vlog related they do like beauty they do like obviously makeup clothing all things like that which I want to start venturing into because that's what I enjoy watching. So hopefully I'll grasp a bit of like an audience that enjoy watching what I enjoy watching, if that makes sense. So like I want to start, you know, like Jodie May, she does a bit of everything. She does hauls, she does shops with me, she does vlogs. She's obviously doing a house runner right now. That is what I kind of want. I want like life, lifestyle vlogs home travel like i want us to be everything i want us i want you guys to like us for us and whatever content we create not just because you're necessarily interested in houses which is fine because if that is the case we've got loads of videos based on that on our channel go and watch it um and we'll probably do loads more in the future as well but for now this is sort of where our content's going if you haven't already please tell everyone tell your friends tell your family tell co-workers about us Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. And like I said, we're only really doing this for memories, but it would be nice for people to acknowledge the work that we're putting in as well. I've just arrived and I'm just parking. Do I want to go in that one? No, I'm going to go over a little bit. So this is so cute. How on earth? I didn't even really know this existed. There's loads of parking. It's pretty much in the middle of, not literally in the middle of nowhere, but pretty much in the middle of nowhere it looks so cute i i probably irritated the car that was 
behind me when I was pulling in here because on my sat nav it said to turn right so I indicated right and then I realized as I was driving up to it it was left so I had to change my indicator quickly and slow down really quick I'm sorry whoever that was behind me I was slowing down but I just it, on the sat nav where I had to turn was after where I had to actually turn so when I came on it I was like shit but yeah I'm here can't wait to have a little drink and a cake I mean we haven't booked so hopefully we can just walk in but we'll wait and see so I'm just waiting for Lucy I can see a little bug over there but I doubt she'd park all the way up there I should actually message her and find out to be honest because I would have thought with all the spaces that are closer she would have parked closer but I'm going to message her and see if that's her over there if not there's another little red bug she drives like a little red Volkswagen bug it's so cute Look who's arrived! Oh my god, my cart is filthy. Look who it is! <laughs> this is like living my old person dream. Ash would hate this. He'd be like, come go. That's so cute. It's just the cutest little shop. It's called Jojo's. It's expensive, but it's cute. <laughs> How cute is this place? This is so nice. We've never been here. Getting it for the gram. <laughs> I find it awkward vlogging, especially a place like this because it's all like people that just don't get why you're talking to your phone. <laughs> It's all very pink. I'm enjoying it. Same so I'm just waiting for Lucy. She's just in the toilet. We've just booked our hotel for Leeds Festival because me and Lucy are going to Leeds together this year. I am so excited. And we've booked like a little like annex in someone's house and it looks so like cute. It's really, really modern and nice. So um, don't worry, I will be filming Leeds, bits of Leeds Fest. But I don't know what we're going to go and do now. I think we want to go for a walk. But just waiting for Lucy and then we'll just kind of see where we're going. Mm. Okay, so we're back in the car. It's absolutely freezing. It said it was going to snow today and I actually believe it might. It's cold. I love how you can see Lucy. Would you like a chin one? Yes, go on. I don't know what flavour it is. I'm trying to are. figure out where. So that's the location. I presume if it's stay on trim, it's got to be near. Okay, perfect. That's an option. Mm -hmm. We're trying to think of somewhere to go that isn't going to be muddy because the weather's a bit shite, basically. And obviously, we don't want to go somewhere that's going to, well, I mean, ruin our shoes, basically. I brought Doc Martens just in case, but I, didn't. I don't know. So, depends, really. Obviously, it would be easier if we drive separately, wouldn't it? Because yeah, then you're closer. Yeah. Oh, I'm filming. I didn't realise. <laughs> this one over here rubs the little pot of mayo. It's so cute, though. <laughs> Naughty. Right, I'll meet you there. Right, toodles. Toodles! We're going to drive separately because she's got her eyelashes after, which is closer to where we're going than one of us driving, like, together and having to drop someone else off. So, yeah. Where I'm going says arrival is 1.34 and it is currently 1.03, so pretty much, like, 31 minutes. It's saying is, like, the fastest route. So I'm going to meet Lucy there don't actually know what to do at Trentham because we've already ate and the shops there aren't exactly like shops that ne necessarily like me and Lucy would be like what's the word like would want to go but it's a nice place to walk around we can go and actually walk around the gardens which like I said the weather isn't exactly like amazing so we're gonna go and see obviously what that's like hopefully it doesn't take ages to get there i bet lucy even though i've left before lucy i bet she'll get there before me because she's just like a rapid driver 
I mean, she's literally already right behind me, like already. And I pulled off like 10 minutes before her. I should have gone to the toilet because I am absolutely desperate for the loo. She went and obviously me being the genius that I am, thought, you know what, I'm not gonna go. Stood there, now I need the toilet. What a silly thing to do. What did I say, guys? Lucy drives so fast. I might add, she has got like a sporty little red beetle, but my God, she can taz it in that car. So I'm in the fast lane and she literally just seemed past me, like right past me. So we're on the motorway now, we're on the M6, we're headed to Trentham, which is in Stoke-on-Trent. Um, me and Ash go there in the summer a lot. We've never actually been in the winter, so we don't know what it's gonna be like. But it's very beautiful. In fact, if you guys wanna see what it's like, go and have a look, well, you'll see it in this video, but go and have a look at one of our old videos. It's, um, I'm wearing a yellow T-shirt. It was the middle of the summer, it was boiling hot. We were on like, um, you know, one of them like rope swing ride, I don't know what they're called, where you jump on it and you go across the zip wire thing. We had a drink. It was the. It's in our travel vlog somewhere. Go and watch that, and you'll get a better look of the area and stuff. It was beautiful when we went there last. Yeah, I'm gonna. He we're heading there now. We're heading. I'm heading into Stoke, which is. It says arrival is going to be 1:35. It's currently 1:15, so not long. 20 minutes. I've just passed the junction to where I would get off to go home and it feels dead weird because me and Ash go to Stoke a little bit for like Wagamamas and like things like that but we live nowhere near it really like we don't live like stupidly far we live in the West Midlands so to get to Stoke it's like straight the the M6 but it's so funny because coming this way just reminds me of that time that I don't know if we ever, I think we did. We spoke about it briefly on our channel. That time that Ash was in hospital, he was in Stoke Hospital when he swallowed the food funny. And I say swallowed the food funny, he didn't swallow the food funny. Like he has a condition basically. And he was in Stoke Hospital for, I think he was in there two nights or one night. And that was like bank holiday last year, like May bank holiday. This road gives me bad memories basically because having to do the journey to and from, to and from, to and from, and it's not a short journey was fucking hectic. We've arrived. <laughs> it is cold. The last time me and Ash came here, it was like a piping hot day. It was really, really. Yeah, like they've parked on the, on the. Yeah, no, I've just taken a picture. Yeah, last time me and Ash came here, it was like a piping hot day. We walked round, I had heat stroke, and now it's like the complete polar opposite. Oh, just got something. oh it's freezing. I should have really stuck my coat on as well, not gonna lie. <laughs> We're in the beauty outlet. <laughs> and I picked this up and I went, oh. I was supposed to say that's obviously alien. <laughs> it's obviously. <laughs> I went, <laughs> but it was so like, casual. That's obviously. <laughs> it was so Is like. It <laughs> I just went. Because these are supposed to be dupes mm -hmm. of like, obviously, this is alien. And I picked it up and I went, oh, that's obviously supposed to be alien. <laughs> that's obviously alien. <laughs> I said it so casually, like, that's obviously. <laughs> So it took like a minute for it to like register as well. Me, I was that? like, oh, did you just say that? <laughs> I'm so casually, that was what was concerning. Yeah, that's obviously Someone's dead. Guinea pig. <laughs> I love places like this because there's such a variety, but then also I can't be bothered to look because there's <laughs> so much to look. Yeah. I bought some incense sticks and a holder for Ash because he keeps going on how often he really wants one of these. So I bought loads of scents for him. I feel like I'm in Spain. That is Spanish, isn't it? Is that? Don't know. Looks cool though. <laughs> I really need this book. Currently. I still haven't been to the toilet. Yeah. This is like my idea of heaven. I'm just walking around, got some bits. But starting to get a bit more confident about vlogging in public. But I find like going places like this, it's all obviously people of a certain generation who just don't understand why why are you talking to your phone in public. <laughs> mm. it smells good. A sunroom. Oh, 
that's a great angle. <laughs> Stop doing it. Uh, 45 quid later. 45 I don't even... I don't keep track anymore because it's just depressing. Yeah, so I got some incense for Ash. I got some mats and coasters and some fudge and it came to 45 quid. That is literally what's like... Oh, he's Frankie's and Benny's. I thought he was. I saw the logo. I mean, I don't know. I thought they didn't exist. No, I thought they weren't bankrupt. There you go. Um, but that is what is it? Garden sent in price, uh, prices through and through. 45 quid for like four things. Love that. Went to the toilet, casually just walked in, and then we turned around and went, eh, why is there a urinal? We were like, why are there urinals in here? Casually, in the wrong toilet. Oh. <laughs> Me. One of them Almost just punched it. Glass Fanta. I've just got in the car. Thought I'd just show you some little bits of what I got. I got some new placemats because the ones that we've got are like just black fabric ones. Uh, I mean, that makes them sound really bad. They're, they're better than just fabric. I'll try and find a picture and insert it here. So I thought I'd get some wood ones because I think they're better because they're wipeable as well. And I got the like matching coasters so they look nice together the coasters are 10 pound and these were 20 and then i got ash some incense with like a matching gray incense holder and then a pack of 10 which is good because these were only two pound for a pack of 10 and we can always just come back here and get these because obviously it's not too far for us to um get some more when they run out and then i also got ah, no i got some fudge some sticky toffee and some cream egg and that's my little trentham garden haul that costs 45 pound lucy's just leaving bye so i've got to go and pop to the supermarket now because it's ash's birthday coming up soon it's on the 5th of march and he's turning 26 so i'm gonna go and get some wrapping paper and some bits for his birthday he's actually away on a stag do which i think i've already mentioned for the weekend before and he comes back i think on the fourth monday the fourth yeah so the day before his birthday he comes back so we're not actually doing anything for his birthday i don't think i mean we could go out for a meal if he wants to i haven't planned anything Money's a bit tight because I've got my MOT and service this um, month. I've got my mum's birthday, I've got Mother's Day and I've got Ash's birthday. So money is a little bit tight. Um, so if we want to go out for a meal, I, we could do. But I think it might be a little bit... Maybe we don't. I don't know. We'll wait and see. But anyway, it's still raining. It's freezing cold. I'm going to drive home now. No, I'm not. I'm going to the supermarket. And then that's pretty much it. And then I'm just going to go home. So I've just pulled up at Tesco. Why I love a bit of Tesco. So yeah, I've come to Tesco because we need to get some oil. Um, should really go to Aldi for that, but we're gonna go to Tesco. And um, obviously, like I said, I need to get some bits for, I need to get a Mother's Day card. I need to get a mom's birthday card. Actually, I'm not gonna park by the van because last time I parked at a Tesco next to a van, I got Stanley knifed all the way down my car, which I don't know if I, we've ever told you guys that. Yep, I had my car from the headlight to like a part of my driver's side, part of my driver's side door, which I had only had my car like a week at this point, not even that. I think it was brand new, literally just took all the stickers off it all. And I was at Tesco and I parked next to a van and from my headlight to my driver's side door I had a Stanley knife all the way down like ran all the way down my car not just once like loads of goes so everyone was trying to tell me it's a trolley or it's a coat zip it wasn't a coat zip it wasn't a trolley you would only like even if the trolley got stuck and they like barged it and did that it would make more of a dent and like little lines this was like a long dent loads of like scratches it looked like someone had just done that with a stanley knife basically and we got the police involved and yes they did confirm it was a stanley knife and i had parked right next to a white van so don't know what i did to, to piss that driver off don't know what i did at all i was literally in and out of tesco in 10 minutes because my car tells me when it's turned on and turned off next to my phone and it tells me 
and I was literally like 10 minutes that's it and in that space of the time I had my car vandalized this was a couple years ago now but I will if I've got the photos I'll try and insert some photos for you but going off track just come to Tesco need to get some bits and bobs So I've got some birthday cards, some wrapping paper, like a little bow thing. The theme that I've gone with is silver and like grey. So like that. So I've got silver wrapping paper, silver bow and like silver and like silver ribbons. So or like I might even put the grey on actually, like one of the whites, greys and stuff. Haven't really got him a lot for his birthday. Like I said, I've, it's been quite a tight month, but he's going to have a couple of things to open. So I thought I'd at least make it look pretty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for following me around today. I've done quite a lot today, I feel like. I don't know how long the video is, but thank you for getting this far. And thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, thank you. Take care.